let's flip the camera. Hello friends, welcome to my channel. It's a beautiful day today, I wanna to take you along with me. I'm doing a little crabbing and uh, let's flip the camera. There you go. Hopefully my connection is gonna be well. Hello, Barbara George, welcome. Let me, let me flip the camera this way. Hey Barbara, how you doing? Good to see you. Today's a beautiful day, 77 degrees Fahrenheit. A little, little on the windy sides, about maybe, uh, I'd say about 10, 15 miles per hour. Tonight over here in New York City, you're gonna have, you know, thunderstorms. So I figured, you know what? Let me get into this. Let me, let me do a little crabbing this evening. It's, uh, what is it, three o'clock? What time is it? 328 here in New York City. So let's go for it, guys. Hello, Lorna. Hello, Eddie T. Robin. Hi from the Bronx. Robin, I'm from Brooklyn. Good to see you, but now I'm in Long Island. Great to see everybody. So, guys, I, if you, I do appreciate if you would uh, hit that thumbs up and if you could share this broadcast out. And uh, we're going to get going here. So I'm going to be picking up my traps in approximately uh, probably two or three minutes. And maybe you, can, you guys can give me some luck over here. I should be there with you, not in the office. Hello, Matt. Good to see you, Matt. Thank you for coming in. I wish you were, all of you were right. Well, you are here with me right now. Everybody's here with me. Having a, you know, We're going to have a good time together. We're going to spend a little time with each other. Um, hopefully my signal is okay. If my signal is good, please give me a one in the chat. If my signal is no good, give me a two. Hello, Maui Smith. Good to see you. Erica Olson, Robin. Who else is in that I didn't, I missed? Uh, I think, that, and Lorna. Great to see you guys. All right. So here's what we're going to do it now, guys. So I'm going to pick up. You guys are going to give me some luck. Hopefully the wind is not too bad. I'm going to put you right here. Okay, so I won't be able to read the chat, but you'll be able to see me pick up crab nets. Okay, guys. guys now let me just let me just explain to you here in New York State these crabs have to be four and a half inches if they're not four and a half inches it's got to go back to their mother that's what we have to do because we want to conserve we want to catch the big crabs that's the most important thing by eyesight it looks to me like they're not big enough but we're gonna pull out the, the ruler and see There's a female, I can tell already. There's a female. Let me just run. Oh! You know what? Give me the give me the clamps. You don't want them to pinch you either, because if they pinch you, it's not a fun thing. Okay, hold on. Okay guys, so here they are. That's the female crab. You see the V? That's the female crab right there. And she also has the orange. You see the orange uh, claws right there? She's not big enough, so first of all, I wouldn't keep a female anyway. It's gonna go back. But if it, it, it has to be four and a half inches. That's how big they have to be. All right, let's send it back. Right.
Okay, guys, I'm back. Hold on. Just clip, clip back the the wind, the pin mic. There we go. There we go, guys. Hey, Cheryl F. Good to see you, Diane G. Uh, who else did I miss? Let's see. Retired Irish detective. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you guys. So nothing here, guys. So let me just flip the camera. So yeah, they have to be four and a half inches long and uh, from point to point, then they're a keeper. But if, if they're shorter than that, we throw them back in because, you know, crabs are so abundant out here that it doesn't pay and I wouldn't do that. It's $150 fine. I'm not look if that's per crab that, that are under, I wouldn't ever do that, you know? So uh, let's give it a shot. my connection still holding up yeah beautiful day beautiful beautiful day just a little windy just a hair windy we'll walk along the uh, pier over here so there's a young kid over here who's asking me see him he's throwing the crab net he says mister how long do you have to keep the crabs, you know, the traps in the water? I said about 15 minutes, because that's what you're supposed to do. But there's a lot of fun. Holly, good to see you, Holly. Diane G. Great connection, okay, good, good. Yeah, I was worried about the connection, because the last time I did a live stream from over here, the connection for whatever reason wasn't really good and uh, kind of disappointed me you know everything's about the sound the audio and about the connection you know and uh, my good friend duty Ron said Joe I heard a little wind over there I said yeah I know but I'm okay now even though it's a little windy got beautiful boat Lexi it's a hundred and three with a hundred and ten I'm staying indoors oh my goodness Lexi Stars above, good to see you. Great to see you. Oh, look at those birds. Those are, um, oh, I forgot the name of those birds. Those are not pigeons. Those are not seagulls. Mm, I forgot the name. But I can tell you one thing. They're very territorial, those uh, birds. If you go anywhere near their nesting ground, they will attack you, those birds. Barbara George, I wish I could send you to crabs. I wish, I wish I could send you to crabs. Who knows? You know, I do it for recreational purposes. You know, having a good time. You know, just hanging out with my friends over here. That's about it. But it's just a beautiful day here today on the pier. Beautiful day. As you can see, you can see the wind. See the tide? The tide is actually... Let's look at the tide. The tide is going out right now. It was high tide, tide's going out. And uh, which to me, the best time to catch crabs is called slack tide. That's in between. It's that half, it's that one hour in between, between high and low tide, where everything, is, so the crabs could walk freely. When it's a little choppy like this, you know, there's, there's a lot of undertow for them. Yeah, great day today. Great day. I'm gonna show you something interesting over here. You know, a lot of these boaters over here, uh, you have these owls. And the reason why they have these owls is because they don't want the birds to perch. You know, so they don't destroy the boat or defecate on the boat. They don't like that. But it's really fun out here. Same here. I have to wait till Monday to go. Oh, I got you, retired Irish detective. Yeah, I know. It's been you guys uh, out west and south. It's been extremely, you know, big heat waves. It's been really hot. We just had a heat wave. It was like in the upper 90s for like three days straight, almost four days. But we had a big thunderstorm the other day and it cooled everything off. So the nights have been like 65 degrees. 
over here at night. And uh, right now it's 76 degrees here, current temperature. So it's very comfortable, you know, it's very comfortable. And uh, you know, I hate, I mean, I love the summer, but sometimes the heat is just way too much. Too much humidity here. New York City, oh, New York rather, it has a lot, in the summer times they're really hot and there's a lot of humidity. Yeah, I know where you live, uh, retired Irish detective. It can get really, really hot there. Boise, 100 plus every summer. Wow. Yeah, Lexi, 65 degrees. You know, it's uh, really comfortable. You know, you don't need air conditioning. It's just a way to, you know, relax. You know, I go in my backyard and just chill out and hang out there and just having a great time. Uh, Matt. I, I agree with you. I'm not as I, you know what? I don't like snow. You know, when I was living in Brooklyn in the five boroughs, New York City, we have alternate side of street parking. And when there's any kind of storm or there's snow, there is no alternate side. So everybody stays where they are and you get buried in because the snow, nobody, there's nowhere to put the snow. You're not allowed to, to put the snow in the street. You're supposed to just put it near the, the curb. But people don't listen, they do it anyway. You spend a year in Boston, Boston's beautiful. Beautiful, really nice. Retired Irish detective, I don't miss the snow. Listen, uh, we've been very lucky. The last two years have been pretty much in New York City, not very little snow. Very, very little snow out there. Not much snow. <laughs> Sanitation covers everything anyways. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Yeah, let me put you down over here. Well, what happens when the sanitation truck goes down a, a city block they have their blade curved towards the right. So anybody that knows when there's a snowstorm that lived in the city knows not to park your car on the right side because you get you will get buried in. And I've done that plenty of times. Not much snow in Arkansas, but plenty of ice storms. Yeah, for sure. For sure. You could see all the way in the distance, you got the American flag blowing. I'm gonna show you and zoom in. See you guys? It's windy. Hopefully my audio is okay though. You don't hear much wind. So people are just hanging out, doing a little fishing, having a good time. But it's really beautiful though. So it's 3.42. I'm going to pick up, and in, at 3.45, I'm going to pick up again. And hopefully you guys give me some luck over here. Yeah, I need some luck. I need some real luck I need. So if you want to give me that luck, give me that thumbs up. Click that thumbs up and share this broadcast out. I appreciate it. <clears throat> so is anybody new... If anyone is new in my broadcast that's watching now, I'd like to give you a shout out. Please say hello in the chat. In three minutes, we're going to pick up. <clears throat> oh, that kid, he's catching. Let's see. Yeah. He's got a little kid here catching the parents. A lot of fun. So there's my traps. Larry, I'm good. Oh, Matt Wickard, great to see you. Let me say hello to you, Matt. Matt, thanks for joining, man. It's good to see you. Matt, where are you from? So guys, tell me where in the world are you living? State, country, I would like to give you a shout out. I use chicken for, for bait. Boy, it's a little windy out here. 
Massachusetts, uh, uh, Mass, Massachusetts, right? Well, it's great to have you here, Matt. Yeah, we got boats. Yes, Diane is here. Good to see you, Diane. Larry Schmidt's in the house. Good to see you. Yeah, let me just show you. I'm going to point to this direction. You've got, if anyone doesn't know, that's the Great South Bay out there in Long Island. You could Google that. Hello. Oh, Allison. Good to see you. Pittsburgh, PA. Great to see you. Ontario, Canada. Welcome. That's people pot park. Excellent. That's where that uh, psychopath is from, right? I got friends that live at Massive People Park. London, UK. Lorna, great to see you. Yes, Irish detective. You know what? I definitely. Yes, you could use. I. You could use me as a mod, definitely. But you got to go. You got to go into YouTube. Um, in the settings, you gotta take my link and you gotta put it in the box. And then I'm a moderator. Absolutely. Matt Sully's in the house. Good to see you, Matty. Matty boy. Muggy, Mississippi, 99 with the heat index. Erica, wow. Yeah, it's 76 degrees. You know, it's a huge difference in temperature. Yeah, Larry, I love it too. You know, being, you know, living in Brooklyn, New York, you know, there was not much of an opportunity. There are crab sites, but there's nothing like being in Long Island to do this. Okay, guys, I'm ready to pick up. So I'm going to put you down again. I'm going to put you down. Talk, speak amongst yourselves. Make friends with each other. Hold on. And uh, I'm going to, right here. So here we go. Let's see if I get you. That's a baby, that's gotta go back. Yep. That's a baby. Me and my grandpa they had twelve days. Because we saw five of them. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let me just flip you over this way. Uh there we go, perfect. That's not a keeper. That's still small. Too small to keep. That's a male. Right there. That's a male. It's going to go back. Is that all? Okay, I'm back. Let me just clip you back on. There we go. Okay, let's see the comments. Oh, Maddie, you have a boat? If you got a boat, I would, if you invite me, I definitely would go, 100%. I've been on boats most of my life. I have, uh, you know, growing up, my mom's cousins who live out here, they, uh, let me flip the camera over. My mom's cousins, they had boats and, uh, you know, I learned a lot about boating through them, different rules and regulations. But I haven't been on a boat, a private boat, in maybe about seven years, seven or eight years. You know, but uh, looking forward to it. A hundred and eight degrees, what, 42 percent. Wow. My boss boat. Gotcha. Wow. Come to Arkansas. 
and we'll go bass fishing. I'm invited, Lexi. Wow. Listen, bass fish, bass fish, uh, fishing is freshwater fishing. That's amazing. That takes skill to, to catch freshwater fish. It's not like salt water. Salt water is a little different. Let's see. My friend over here. Let's see if she's got anything. Let's take a look. Is that a keeper? Let's see. Oh, that's a beauty. Let me just show my friends over here. Wow, look at that, guys. That's a beauty. The other one's a baby. That's a that's a parent there. That's a great size. That's a great. That is a nice size. You know what I like about crabbing? It's like you don't know what you're gonna get. So hopefully, you know you, you get the night the right size. Four and a half inches, like I said. I don't bite you. Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't want to get bit. You know what? I'll do this. Hold on. Let me put you guys down for a second. I'll get them. Okay. There's one and there's two. Okay. So I got them here. Come on. Come on. Let, come on. Let's go. Okay, grab the other. Grab one of the claws. Okay. Wow, this one's a tough one here. Yeah. <laughs> Holy mackerel. <laughs> I don't believe it. Okay, let's put him in. Let him go. Oh, yeah, wow. The other guy. What a son of a gun that guy is. He's right? a biggie. He's a biggie. That's a monster there. <laughs> it took three people to get him. That's funny. That's funny. You had a 21 foot bay liner after the home fire when I was going. Someone's still at, wow, I'm sorry to hear that, Erica. He knows not to let go his dinner. Right. Mackerel, yes. Yeah, you know what, Stars Above? 100%. He didn't want to stick around for nothing. He knew that he was, he was dinner. He was going to be dinner. <laughs> wow. He wanted to go back in the sea for sure, absolutely. Yeah, no question about it. There we go. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'm still learning this, uh, how to flip the camera and everything, but... Uh, Okay, that's good. Let me flip it back. Okay, beautiful. Now I got it. He wanted to go back in the sea for sure. Yeah, no question about it. Isn't that funny? Oh, wait, she's picking up again. Let's go over to my friend Marie. She's great, Marie. Let's see if she's got anything. Let's see. Nada? Nada. Nope. That one had nothing. Diane, I'm glad about the picture is clear. That's good. Because the last time I did this live, it was uh, poor quality. But I'm happy that the quality is really good now. I did a speed test. You know, when you live stream, guys, I just want to... Anybody who plans on live streaming ever... Let me go this way. Okay. So when you live stream... The most important thing that to get a clear picture is you have to have great upload speed. So there's download speed and upload speed. What that means is when you download something, you're, you're taking it from the internet and it's going to your phone. Upload is the opposite. It's what you're doing with the phone to make it go somewhere else. To make it in layman's terms, basically. So the faster the upload speed, the clearer the picture. 720. Right now we're streaming at 720. When Duty Ron, our good friend Duty Ron goes live, he's home, he has a direct connection. You know, he's at 1080i, even a higher resolution than that. You know, most of the, um, 
you know, people on YouTube that vlog, you know, just do video, no live streaming, you know, they, you can go as high as 4K, but that takes a lot of space. You know, I've been do, I'm, I've been a live streamer for, let's see, oh, 2015 I'm doing this. So it was a learn, it's a learning experience, you know, like anything else. And, um, yeah. Okay. Picture is clear. Yeah, I'm glad. Beautiful. So we got a bunch of people over here. You know, and they are bringing their nets with them. I think one guy is he's going to catch bait. So Vin, where are you? This is my son. That guy is catching, going to catch bait. Spearing. Watch what he does. Oh, thank you, Nabul. Uh, by the way, guys, you see that guy in the bull over there? He's from France. Uh, he's got a great channel. We know each other from the old Periscope days. He's been, he's a professional live streamer too. We've learned, you know, we help each other. One thing I say, you know, we have a great community on YouTube. We had a pretty good, you know, community on Periscope. We try to help each other. You know, it's a learning experience. That's what we do. Uh, we, we get disappointed when the connection is not right. You know, we're not happy about that. We're certainly not happy. Let me show you the boat coming in from the Great South Bay. But so, you know, when I go crabbing, you know, I use, I use chicken for bait. And the reason why I do that, because I, I frequently go often, and it's, the, it's a tough bait, a tough meat. In other words, when you throw it into the uh, salt water, doesn't disintegrate uh, the crabs uh, you know they of course they they eat some of it but it, it, it'll last you all day and that's what I like about it there's many times that I finished crabbing and uh, there was nothing wrong with the bait I took it back put it in one of my freezes and uh, I was good to go for the next day but look how beautiful it is guys look at that beauty beauty beautiful beautiful day 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Really, really comfortable, comfortable place. There is the law enforcement over there. He always checks to make sure you're doing the right thing. But it's great. Beautiful, beautiful here. He's the doc master. He's the guy that checks to make sure that you are doing the right thing. There's my chair, I'll sit in my chair. My American flag chair, look at that. Here, let's flip it this way. Ugh. So let's see, we got, uh, let me check the time. 3.57, in three minutes I'm gonna, we're gonna pick up again, three minutes. Yeah, DEC is out there, correct. So it's got it, the crabs have to be four and a half inches long right from point to point and uh, we don't we don't take females over here we throw the females back because you know we want the females to create more crabs if they take people take too many female crabs you know won't be uh, won't be good you know pretty much I will tell you what's up partner too nothing yet nothing too small throw them back that's all <laughs> Yeah. How many crabs have you caught so far? No, Cheryl. We caught one, two, three, four. I caught about five crabs, but they were too small. I, I put them back into the sea. So they could live another day and get bigger. And maybe I can catch, you know, a bigger crab. So that's what we do here. Just This is just very relaxing and... Um, you know, after, you know, just doing the right thing, just hanging out, chilling out, having fun by the water. I love the water. You know what it is when you, for me anyway, I love the sea. And Nabul could confirm this. Nabul, how many, as a live streamer when I was on Periscope, what did I show the most? He'll tell you guys. He'll tell you exactly the kind of content that I provided. 
Sure, I did, you know, walking through the city, doing this, but my thing was nature. So I would always go to the beach and show beautiful sunsets, New York Harbor. That's what I did. I love doing that. Tweety, USA. Hello from the former Connecticut, Long Island Sound resident. Tweety, good to see you. I'm happy you're here, Tweety. Hey, let me say hello to Tweety. Great job, Tweety. I love all your comments in Duty Ron's chat. They're intelligent, they're smart, and that's what we want. We have great, on Duty Ron's channel, we have great um, people, great community, great questions, very informative, and we uh, especially have great professionals like Duty Ron, Ed Wallace, uh, Melanie Little. They do a really great job, and I've known, I've known Duty Ron for eight years. We've got great friends, and we have great, he's a great live streamer, and I'm happy that I brought him over to YouTube. Hold on. Tuna fishing. Where do you go? Oh, let me let me get. What's up, partner? So where do you go tuna fishing? You go to the canyons. So first of all, it's like, what is that? A four-hour ride out into the ocean. Let me explain, guys, what the canyons are. So if you look at the map of New York, right? With the Verrazano Bridges, and I've done many broadcasts. You could go into my playlist and look at those sunsets from the Verrazano Bridge. That's New York Harbor, the mouth of New York Harbor. It's about four hours out into the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, to get to the big depths, the deepest, you really need deep parts of the ocean to catch those kind of fish. You know, people go for tuna, people go for, uh, what's the other one? They can go for shark. But certain species of shark are you're not allowed to catch. Like you're not allowed to catch a great white. You're not allowed to catch a thresher. You're not allowed to catch certain certain fish. What I'm talking about is like deep water fish. Like um, let me see. Hope I'm not boring you guys with this. Um, what's a deep water fish? Uh, halibut. You know, like halibut, deep water. Tile fish. Tile fish is another very delicious fish to catch. And that is a deep water fish. Mako, grouper, there you go. Fuzzy Doxy, good to see you. Appreciate the kind words, makes me miss the East Coast. Tweety, I'm sure you have family or friends over here on the East Coast. I'm sure you do. You know, so if you ever get the opportunity and you come this part of town, reach out to me or Duty Ron and we'd love to meet, meet up with you for a coffee. Rockfish tastes be better than lobster. Yes, Fuzzy Doxy. I know Darren not far from Five Mile River Sound. Wow. You don't want a great white mess up on the boil. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm going to tell you this story. It's really funny. I'm about, when Jaws came out, that was 1975 when Jaws came out. It's really not a kid's movie. But my, fa my aunt, my, young my father's youngest sister, she decides to take me and her daughter. We're about eight years old, no lie. And we're in the movie, she goes, we're gonna see Jaws. So, from the commercials of Jaws, it was frightening and I was scared. But my, my aunt said, don't worry about it, You're in it's only a movie. I, <laughs> that opening scene, I gotta tell you the truth. I didn't go, I love the ocean and the water because I grew up, you know, swimming from a young age, like five years old. I did not go to the beach that whole, for, for two years I wouldn't go in the water because I was so petrified. It was, it was incredible. <clears throat> yeah. All right, let me go pick up these traps here. Hold on, guys. I'm going to put you down again. It's time. It's absolute time. So speak amongst yourselves. I'm gonna put you down for a second. And let's see, give me some luck. I need some luck catching crabs here today. I didn't catch any. <clears throat> hey, This 
might be the first keeper, might. There we go, that's the first keep. Yeah, put that one back. Yeah, it's okay, don't worry about it. I lived about an hour from Daytona Beach. Let me sit over here. Comments. Uh, I lived about an hour from Daytona Beach. When I was in high school, I drive there early. I saw this fin, realized it was Wow. Yeah, it's scary. Tweety, that's amazing. You know, listen, we're just like uh, friends over here. We're all friends. Having a good time here. Just chilling out, relaxing. You know, the only time I'm serious is when, uh, you know, I'm on Duty Ron's channel. That's the only time I'm really serious. But, um, because they're serious topics, that's why. You know? We respect all the... It's very sad. A lot of these cases are very sad. You know, these victims, the Brian Kohlberger case and the, uh, the psychopath from Massapequa Park. You know, justice, hoping for justice. And, um, you know, I believe, in my own opinion, I believe they have enough evidence. This guy is never going to see daylight. Do I feel sorry for his children? Of course. Pick that one up. Right there. Do I feel sorry for his children? Yeah, of course. Would the kids have nothing to do with They're called blue claw crabs. They're Maryland blue claw crabs. You can catch them from the tip of Florida all the way up to probably Maine. You can catch them. Maine, we have a crab. There we go. We have another one. Uh, I don't know if that's a keeper. No, that's a baby. Uh, he's gotta go. Bye. check we have hold on we got 406 uh, 417 I'll pick up again give it take 10 15 minutes so guys uh, if I earned your subscription with this you know doing this type of content and doing you know many different things you know I'm from New York City Brooklyn New York actually I'm born in Little Italy New York City you know, I know the city really well. I uh, haven't been here in a, probably a few weeks into Manhattan. But if you go to my playlist, if you want to enjoy, you want to learn about New York City from a native New Yorker like myself, go and watch, go to my playlist. Go watch like the, uh, the walks that I've done through New York City. You know, a lot of it is, uh, I don't even have to research it because you know, I lived there my whole life. Friends and family. My, my grandparents are immigrants from Italy. And, um, Hey, you know, I grew up in Little Italy, so I, you know, I know a lot of the uh, the neighborhood, Chinatown, Little Italy, down Lower Manhattan, the financial district, financial center, all that, even uptown, you know, and on the east side of Manhattan, uptown, midtown, west side, east side. So I do all that. If I earned your subscription, click that notification bell, right, so you get all notifications from me. You know, I'm, I'm still a growing channel. I'm, I'm not monetized. I don't have enough um, watch time hours. If you guys want to help me out with that, you could watch my playlist. And it's not boring. Hold on. Let me flip the camera. My stuff is not boring. My stuff is actually very exciting. Uh, not because it's my ego or nothing. You just ask other people and they'll tell you. I just don't do enough of it because I've been through a lot. 
you know, my dad passed away. Uh, a couple of tragedies in my life, but, um, you know, I'm back in the game again. I like live streaming. I've done it for a long time. Uh, you know, I was, when I was on Periscope, I was, uh, I trended on Twitter twice. I was, um, you know, I was part of the New York cohort program. I was selected from Periscope Twitter. They asked if I would do, be a part of a program to, you know, from a native New Yorker, I guess an Italian American, I did a lot of broadcasting for Twitter at the time. Periscope is no more, so I moved over to YouTube, and I don't regret it. I think it's a, uh, it's a wonderful community on YouTube. There's good and bad and everything, right? So, you know, but the community that I'm involved with, my friends in the community, and Duty Ron is involved with, uh, it's really no nonsense. We won't tolerate, we respect everybody, who they are, we're inclusive, and, you know, we just... We just want to remain, you know, have a pleasant place to come and hang out like you're doing today. I can't read the comments, by the way. I flipped the, the uh, thing. Uh, and I want to interact with each and every one of you, so let me flip it back this way. Thank you, Brother Pete. Florida Pete's in the house. My Brother Pete. Guys, I got to tell you, that's the guy that I learned how to live stream. Florida Pete, David Osaka. I will tell you who these people are because they also have YouTube channels. Florida Pete is one. David Osaka from Osaka, Japan. We're talking true professionals here. People that know what they're doing. People that better than, you name it, better than the, the press, well, this media stuff. There's no such thing. David Osaka, I'll tell you how good he is. And Dave, I hope you're... You will watch this live stream. You know, I always praise my good friend Dave from Japan. He's not only a class act, but he's a world-class live streamer. He should have 800,000, a million subscribers he should have. But, but unfortunately, that's not how it works. Part of being a live streamer is being consistent constantly, over and over. You know, even if you had a bad day at work, you got a live stream. That's how it is. And I give Duty Ron a whole lot of credit because there's a lot of research. There's a lot of research that goes into Duty Ron. Of course, he's a professional detective, right? Tied in like a detective at Wallace with the professionals. They still got to do their research. You got to invite guests. It's not easy to get guests to come on your, your, your show. You know, so, but those are the people that want to be around. Yeah, so guys, if, if you're not subscribed to um, Florida Pete, Dave and Osaka, you're really missing out. Really, really going to miss out, I'm, I'm telling you. And I wouldn't say that, you know, these are true live streaming professionals. Oh, retired Irish detective to... Uh, to edit videos, I can't do it at all. I wouldn't even attempt it. You know, to me personally, I think live streaming is much. Let me flip the camera this way. To <laughs> me personally, live streaming is 20 times harder than to do a edited video, and I'll tell you why. Because when you're a live streamer, your content, whatever that content may be, has to be on point. You can't make up stuff. You can't lie. You can't say. You know, this is four feet when it's ten feet. You can't do that. People fact fact check you all the time. Okay? You can end up with a bad name. But I don't hang out with those kind of people. I hang out with, with winners. I stay in the winner circle. I learn from winners. And that's why I appreciate my friendship. Like from Duty Ron and Pete from Florida, David Osaka. These people I've been through, you know, hell and back with as a live streamer. Learning experiences. So, great people. Okay, uh, Florida Pete, I'll speak to you soon, brother. I'll speak to you later. Thanks for popping in, brother. <clears throat> yeah, it's all about sharing, helping out. It's great.
Yeah, brother Pete in the house. I'm glad he came in. That was great. I don't know. Did anybody see Duty Ron? Maybe I missed him. Uh, let me see. What time is it? It's 4.14. No, he's still doing his thing at work. <clears throat> he's still doing it. I don't know if he's going live tonight. Uh, I got to check that out. But what I do is, when I know, well, Dawn Marie and myself, Dawn Marie, oh, fantastic person. Dawn Marie and myself, if we know that Ron is going live, we share that out. Because we don't want you guys to miss out on anything. You know, anything that's going on, any new information with different cases. You know, you know that split-second decision-making when you're going live. You know, Ron went live three days in a row because there was new information that came out. Oh, stars above, it's beautiful. It is absolutely, it feels more like 75 degrees now. I said 76, beautiful. So incredible. So yeah, guys, so if you would, um, you know, you wanna watch my uh, content, I have seven years of content all go through my playlist. You'll see very interesting things. I've been in hurricanes. I've live streamed in hurricanes, solar eclipses, where you actually see the solar eclipse. You know the the great the great solar eclipse that came through New York. <clears throat> I've done oh wow what did I've done? I've done oh so much so many things I can't even remember. But snowstorms and blizzards and all kinds of goodies. Oh, police off the cuff. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, uh, let me tell you, Bill Cannon, police off the cuff, he's also an amazing uh, professional. You know, he's, uh, he's great, great, great stuff to get from Bill Cannon. You know, and you got, uh, uh, what's his name? Of course, Melanie, L Melanie Little, she's got her own account. You know, she's, she's a great professional and attorney. She does great stuff. We all help each other. We really do. Uh, Matty boy, yes. Uh, snow blizzards, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Paul. Right. No, no, what's his name? Uh, it's the tip of my tongue. Oh, Grimaldi. Grimaldi. He's a, he's a fellow Brooklynite, first grade detective from around Pony Island. He's seen a lot of battles too. <clears throat> yep. Listen, the 90s in New York City was a hellhole. 80s and 90s, hellhole. Crack epidemic. You know, I give, listen, all law enforcement that lived through those times, you know, like uh, another hero we could talk about, Peter Branzo. You know, uh, Lieutenant Pete Branzo, that's a, that's a hero. I think all, all law enforcement heroes anyway, but that, that guy's a step above. He's the, he's the police's police, trust me. I believe he's, he's, you know, with all his accolades, he went through hell, that guy. He, he's, he's got two, or two combat crosses. These are awards, you know, these are the second highest awards of combat cross. What does that mean? He would be, if he ever heard this, he'd be shy right now because he's a humble man, Pete. That means he was in gun battles to win a combat cross. Am I correct? Um, retired Irish detective. Is that the combat cross means? That is that you were in a gun battle? You were cornered? Yeah, oh, dad lived in New York. 1021. Wow. Yeah, they were a crime unit. Uh, we're gonna pick up in 18, 19, 420 we're gonna pick up, 420. Yeah, you know, Matty boy, that was rough times. Rough, rough times. Not even the, tr the subways. I remember taking the subway home. You know, I was living in Brooklyn at the time. I went to Catholic school, 
in New York City on 2nd Avenue and 33rd Street. And I used to walk one, two, I used to walk to Lexington Avenue, jump on the 6 train. The number trains were really bad at the time. They were, they were nasty. And I remember my, 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 my old man, my dad, may rest in peace, said, what you gotta do, son, is you gotta stay in the conductor car. Stay in the conductor's car. That's better than anything else where you can be. 72nd in New York, so that area was not really bad. Okay, Tweety, US, yeah, well, that was a good area. <clears throat> that was good, 72nd Street in New York. That was really prime location. Even to this day, that's prime area. I was in Kipps Bay, which was okay. 33rd and 34th Street and 2nd Avenue. Wasn't bad over there. But I worked my career in uh, for housing, NYCHA. I worked all over Manhattan. There's 42 projects or 42 developments. I worked every one. I was a floater. So there was some, there was some nice ones, and there was some really rough ones, you know. But you know what I used to do? I walked with my head up high. I said hello to everybody. I was respectful to people. Didn't never showed fear. Didn't, I couldn't care less. And people, and they used to, they used to go, oh no, that's the mafia. Watch out for him. He's the mafia. I used to laugh. I'm not the mafia. So I just, uh, it was funny. And I'll tell you something, another story. How many times did I take the train home, right? From Harlem or something, West Side. People used to, now I'm not a, now I'm not law enforcement, right? People used to walk up to me, excuse me, officer, could you help me? And I said, no, I'm not a cop. He says, oh, we don't believe that. Well, what, well, what do you want me to tell you? I'm not a police officer. They, people used to, I had that look. Yeah, no, I didn't play games. No, right, exactly. We tried that. Listen, I respected everybody, but my head. First of all, to, if you to be a victim, to be a victim of a, of a crime, you have to look like a victim. And one day, Ron is going to go over that. I think he should do a, a live stream. We got another crib. No, throw it back. That's a baby. a baby so if you if you're walking looking scared and you're turning your, your head around looking behind you of course you're a victim so the criminal goes hey I got a, I got a, I got a live one over here wait a minute we got crabs I think we got crabs uh, got a... was it big or small yeah. small all right put them back Vin. put them back we got one more to pick up right Let's see what we got here, guys. No, we're skunked. Put that back. So yeah, we're getting back. So that one, we didn't catch anything. Treat others the way you want to be treated, Lexi. That's correct. My dad was a, uh, was a lieutenant in 79th Precinct. And he used to hate going to pick him up at work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I, I know Maddie. Maddie boy, your dad was uh, was a lieutenant there. That's correct. So my dad also worked for the city. He was worked for the housing authority, like I I am. He started from the bottom up. He became he was a chief superintendent for the New York City Housing Authority. So he was responsible for all emergency services. After four o'clock, there's no more staff. So if there's an emergency in any of the buildings, gas, gas outage, gas leaks, uh, big major, you know, floods, this kind of stuff, he would call out the skilled trades, the plumbers, the electricians, and he'd be traveling all over the city, four or five boroughs. How you doing? How you doing? So you know, he had a big responsibility. Yes, that is the golden rule. So he dealt with a lot of housing 
PSAs, a lot of housing police. And so did I. And, uh, you know, we're all, even though we weren't law enforcement, because we were housing, we were family to them. We were, the police were family to us and we were family to them. Because it was the same agency. Just one is law enforcement, one is not. Look at that beautiful boat there. Oh, HBT, the boilers, right. How, heating plant technicians, those are. That's a beauty, that one. Wow. Look at that one. That's a beauty, that boat. They're going into the marina there. Yeah, Alexi, that was a nice boat. Wow, it's got, it's got a little windy. That's because there's going to be a storm later tonight. Uh, Nabul. Yeah, that's your boat. Sunset Gazing, good to see you. Welcome, welcome to my channel. Welcome. Oh, you know, one thing I'll say about boats, even the small little ones are expensive. Like this one here. <clears throat> this is probably a 35 footer, 42 footer, somewhere in there. I'm just gonna estimate, because I'm not really sure. I would put a value, because that's a 200 horsepower motor. Oof, the motor's gotta be 15, 20,000. The motor. Maybe 75, North of $100,000 this is. This boat's north of 100. This little boat, well it's not little, but that thing is about at least north of 100. Easy. Maybe a lot more too. Me personally, I love these sailboats. I love the sailboats. If you're gonna, there's nothing like cruising on a sailboat. I've done it. <clears throat> Twice I've done it. It's beautiful. New York Harbor at night I've done one time. For my birthday I was treated by my brother-in-law. It's great. Expensive boats are usually registered in Montana. Gotcha. Easily. It's, it's an expensive hobby. Boating is, is an expensive hobby. Let me do a time check here. 4.35 will pick up again. Lorna, it's, it's beautiful sailing, really. I mean, I've never sailed where I know how to, you know, to run the boat. That I don't know, I've just been a, a guest on a boat. Yeah, Tweety, US News, the upkeep costs are insane, yeah. And let me just tell you this, marine gas is very, so in other words, like you drive your car and you go, right now a price of per gallon of regular gas here on Long Island is $3, it actually went up, it's $3.60 a gallon. Marine gas is probably, now there's a marina over there, I can't see. I can't see the price of it, but I'm going to tell you, it's got to be close to $5 a gallon of gas. So it's, it's quite a significant difference on the water when you're buying fuel. And these tanks, retired Irish detective just said it, 300 gallon tanks, 400 gallon, you know, these bigger boats. It's not like, you know, you got a little gas can with you and you're going on the boat. They're expensive. You know, so it's not for the person that lives paycheck to paycheck. This is for people that have, you know, entrepreneurs. These people have businesses. These people earn, you know, a lot of inc residual income, you know, where you're able to maintain them. Oh, retired Irish detective. It's uh, the cheapest I can get regular gas by me is three dollars and what did I say? Three fifty? Three fifty-five? 
the cheapest. If you go, if I drive 36 miles into, you know, the five Brooklyn, New York, or Queens, or, you're talking 385, four dollars a gallon for regular. It's insane. Don't don't try to get gas in Manhattan. If you if you if you have if you're driving in Manhattan, you pull up to a gas station. It's like 750 a gallon. You don't have to tell. Take my word for it. You could Google that, and you could find that in a, in a second. Two times the cost of land fuel. Usually bigger boats, a hundred, sometimes thousand. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you're more expensive than New York. You know, it's I don't know. It's it's taxes. It's a, it's a lot. You know, it depends. Four twenty nine, fuzzy doxy. Now in Europe. Okay, there is no gallon to buy fuel. It goes by the liter. So it's even more expensive per liter, right? I know I have family in Italy. I mean, my wife's got a lot of family in Italy. I talk to them. They, when I tell them it per gallon, they, they figure out, you know, what's the equivalent to how many liters per gallon, blah, blah, blah. It's outrageous what they go for. That's why they need small little cars. What's across the sound? What sound? Okay. That is, um, that's Lindenhurst, New York, right there. That's Lindenhurst. We're on the South Shore. This is the town of Babylon. This, we're in Babylon, town of Babylon. There's different towns. There's Amityville, there's Copaig, there's Lindenhurst, there's uh, West Babylon, North Babylon, Village of Babylon. It's, uh, it's a big area here. That's a marina right there. Louis Poppy's in the house. Oh, let me say it with my cuz. Cuz, you see this? We're, this is summertime over here. Everybody, subscribe for Louise Poppy. She's out of New Zealand. Another good friend of ours over here, of uh, Duty Ron and myself. She, she has spent time with me in New York and Duty Ron. There's actually a live stream with us. If you go to Duty Ron's uh, channel, um, I'm, I'm going to share it out today. You know what? I, I may do that. I'm going to share that, that, you know, in my community post. I'll share that. You'll have, it's, you'll, it's hilarious. So it's me, Ron, Louise, you know, my wife, uh, Duty Ron's wife. We're at a marina having dinner with he, dinner. Ron treated, by the way. I'll never forget that. He's great. He's good people. And uh, right, Louise? We had a fantastic time with each other. We had great times with each other. There you go. Beautiful day. So, Louise is uh, a travel live streamer, professional live streamer out of New Zealand. She travels the world. She goes to different parts of the world. She goes to New Zealand. Well, she's in New Zealand, but she goes to Japan. She goes to South Korea. She's out there. And of course, she comes to the United States of America too. And when she does, we always get together and hang out. Right, Louise? How did I treat you when you were here? <clears throat> right, I rolled out the red carpet for you. We love you, man. You're awesome. Subscribe to our channel. Oh, there you go. Nabul. Oh, you shared it. Okay, good, good. No problem, retired Irish detective. Okay, Louise, no problem. No, no, no problem. So we're on the pier over here. It's 75 or 76 degrees. Let me convert that. Luis, we had a heat wave in New York City. It was like 40 degrees Celsius. Well, you know, I don't have to convert for you. You know, it was in the 90s over here. So. Three days ago, there was a big thunderstorm over here, and it just a cooling trough came through and just cooled everything down. So now we're like in the 70s, and, and we hit 60s, 65 degrees at night. Beautiful. Kitaku. Kit, good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Welcome. Who's this? Uh, we got Freedom Outdoors. Hey, I'm, I'm back. Much better on PC. Awesome. Freedom Outdoors, good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Welcome. Let me go 
Did I miss any live people in here? Let me see. I want to say hello to my cousins in Ireland. Gas was like 10 to $12 a gallon. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it's great to see everybody joining right now. Awesome, awesome. So, we only caught one crab today. Let's gonna, we're going to pick up. I want you guys to hang out. And we're going to pick up. We're going to stop picking up right now. So, let me put you down. I'm going to put the mic down. Oh, actually, you know what? My son Vinny's going to do it. All right, I'll hold you up. Come on, Vin, pick him up. Anything? Yeah, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. That's a Maryland blue claw crab. Look at that. Beautiful. That's a keeper. Put him in. That's a beauty. How's that? Woo, Fuzzy Doxy likes it. See, you guys are giving, listen, hold on. You guys are giving me a lot of luck over here. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Put that back. Okay, we're gonna pick up the next couple of traps. We're gonna pick up. That was a nice one, yeah. <clears throat> this one over here. Oh, they're delicious. Hey, listen, guys. I wish you were all... You got 16 in the chat. I wish everybody was here right now. I would give these crabs away to you. Nada. Nothing. It's okay. I'm not greedy. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got one more trap here. One more trap. Oh, no, we got babies. Okay, no, no, let's let these little babies go. Uh, one's a female. Actually, both are female, I could tell from here. Because they have the arm, boom, gone. Back in the water. Send that out there. Niente, nothing, nothing, Nibble, nothing. Niente. Yeah, Nibble, that's Vinny. That's my son. Yeah. What's the water temperature? Ha, ah, good question. Well, I'll say this. In the ocean, this is the, out here, is, uh, this is the Long Island Sound. We're on the south shore of Long Island. You gotta go past if I look straight ahead, you got Fire Island out there, right? Fire Island. After Fire Island, you have the Atlantic Ocean. If I was on a boat right now, it would take me about 25 minutes to a half hour, probably a half hour to get out to the ocean. So <clears throat> the temperature, the water temperature in the ocean is the true temperature. The last I heard about two weeks ago, it was 68 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? Which is pretty cool for summer is actually good over here this is the bay over here that's the great south bay over here okay you're talking about maybe i would say it's 70 it's in the 70s for sure you could swim here no problem and you would not feel cold it's it's comfortable actually to swim here but if you're going to swim here make sure you got your shark suit <laughs> you got to be careful right it's a lot of the waters are, are over in you know New York City, Long Island are very clean. There's a lot of uh, conservation over the years to, to make these waters you know sustainable, where fish are you know breathing oxygen, clean water. That's what you want. You know you want to eat fresh fish and you want to have clean you know crustaceans, seafood, and I'm just grateful for that that people. You know, took a lot of time. They don't throw garbage into the water over here. They're very conscientious of, of nature and, you know, just, you know. Oh, Erica, much cleaner. Freedom Outdoors. Yeah, I would love to do, well, flounders in the winter. You mean fluke, right? Summer fluke, which is like a flounder, right? My brother-in-law has gone on a couple of boats and he, he caught a ton of fish and 
told my wife, listen, you know how to cook this stuff, you do it. So I got a freezer full of flounder. Well, fluke, which is like a flounder, summer flounder. And uh, yeah, she's gonna make it probably in the next two days. So I'm looking forward to that. I love fish. It's you know much more healthier than red meat. You know, beautiful. Well, you see, that's why there's a lot of sharks now. You know, Long Island, they've had a, quite a few attacks on Long Island, shark attacks. You know, now they got drones, you know, the, the beaches over here, Cedar Beach and, and um, Cedar, Gilgo Beach, Cedar Beach, uh, what's the other one? Uh, they got people, spotters they have. You know, and Louise Poppy could tell you that, but, you know, she's from New Zealand. Those waters out there, <laughs> there's great white sharks right right there. Am I correct, Louise? A lot of great whites. You know, so they have people with drones looking at the water, making sure everything's safe. Swimmers could swim and, you know, bodyboard and, uh, you know, do the, go, that kind of stuff. So. Let's look over this way. So beautiful there. Two shark attacks in Florida, yeah. Well, you know, Florida is the number one state, with the exception of California, on the Pacific Coast, right, Pacific Ocean, that is. We're on the east side of the United States, so we have the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, there's more shark attacks in Florida, the state of Florida, than any other state in the, in the United States. There's, there's a lot of shark attacks out there. And if Florida Pete was here, he could, he's from Florida, he could attest to that. Tons and tons. Yeah, chicken, Erica, you know, of course I eat beef. I'm not a vegetarian by no stretch. But if I had prefer to eat, I will eat, you know, fish with a tail all day long. I love fish. I just love it. I believe it's much healthier. And, um, you know, Everyone's got their preference. Yeah, so the lines are in the water. You see them. There you go. I'm guessing that sharks don't really like... You know what it is, too? You have to be very smart, you have to be, right? When it comes to swimming in the ocean, and the be ocean beaches. I would never s I would never swim when, you know, it's getting dark out. You don't swim in the dark, and you gotta be really careful in the tw early hours of the morning, you gotta be careful. And whatever you do, don't use a, you know, wetsuit, a black wetsuit, because guess what? You're in there, land you're in their water you know what they may take you they may think you're a, you're a, you're a seal you know you're a seal or you that's their food they don't want to kill humans i mean they are man eaters but they don't want to go for you they want to get a seal so people have to be careful but anyway listen i'm going to pick up one more time guys and then I'm going to call it a broadcast. So we're going to pick up in another three, three minutes, and that's it. So I just want to tell you guys, uh, you know, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming into my live stream, my broadcast. I appreciate it over and over. I appreciate your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. And, um, you know, listen, if you want to do something for me, watch my content because I'm short with hours. Um, to monetize for me to monetize you have to have well now they changed it it used to be 4,000 hours of watch time it's 3,000 I'm halfway there and um, that's a good way to uh, you know to help me out to, to be able to you know I could bring more content to you guys monetize you know where I could you know you know help with gas or little things like that you know if it's uh, if it's in your heart and you want to support my channel I do have a cash app it's inside of my bio you know, if you want to 
you know, buy me a coffee, a $2 coffee, I don't care, you know, whatever you want to do. You don't have to do that to be my friend. But if anyone's listening and wishes to do that, you know, I thank you, I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, it's a strong current, Luis. Strong current. All one million short views, that's correct. Which is not easy. Not easy. So where we are at right now, 444. We're gonna pick up at 447, I'm gonna pick up. It's 444 right now, Eastern Standard Time, here on the East Coast of the US. Correct, Tweety. Yes, F 3,000 watch hours. Well, Tweety, uh, USA News, it used to be 4,000 hours of watch time. They just recently changed that. You can look it up. Uh, it, they just recently, as a matter of fact, when I look up mine, right, it still shows me that I need 4,000 hours of watch time. So what I did was I tweeted at them or X them, whatever you want to call it, YouTube, and I asked them that question. They says, well, they're rolling it out slowly. Uh, the, the Korea, uh, Japan, United States. So those are the first group of people that are gonna be lucky enough that, you know, you could have a great channel. It's just that you need that, you know, you need 3,000 hours of watch time. 4,000 is not impossible, but it's very difficult to get it. So if you wanna, help me out in that way and watch my live streams you know which i have very good content uh louise could tell you louise has got amazing content too you know and stuff but um yeah i appreciate each and every one of you if i earned your subscription click that notification bell so you'll be notified when i go live if you like a community like this if you enjoy this this is where we're at look at these boats Oh, Louis, it's always a pleasure. You know, when you went live last night, it was late and I was half asleep. And I, you know, but I, I was beautiful. Those birds and, you know, those birds that you zoomed in on was really uh, beautiful. Oh, Cheryl, thank you. Thank you so much. There they go, look at that. And most important guys, right? As a good community, we all support each other. That's what it's about. And, and what's really most important when you're live streaming, as I say all the time, have good audio, have great audio, and have great signal. Because without a good signal, it's not good. I've been there so many times. So many times I had bad signals, it really disappointed me. I'm glad I made your day, Fuzzy Doxy. <clears throat> yeah, boats are coming in for the night. But believe, yeah, I'll show you. But believe it or not, let's zoom in a little bit here. There they're coming in. So once you reach this point, it's called no, a no-wake zone. No-wake means do not create waves because you can cause damage at the dock. And you don't want to cause damage at the dock, so you can get a lot of trouble if, they, if you're speeding down here. You could destroy docks, homes, you know? So that you don't want to do. You know what? Uh, Retired Irish, Freedom Outdoors. Subscribe to Freedom Out, guys. Subscribe to Freedom Outdoors. He's got a, a great channel too. Vicky, I appreciate you. And Vicky, listen to me. No matter where you live in the US of A or any part of the world, there's always something exciting. Remember this. We got nature on our side. We get to see things. Listen, I've never been to Wisconsin. I don't care. I love the woods. 
I camped, I was a boy scout. Listen, I camped in the woods. It's all part of the nature. We're all, see everyone here loves, yes, we're all, look, a lot of you guys are true, part of the true crime community, but guess what, you love this. You love nature, you love walking around and hanging out. This is what we want. Yes, absolutely, Luis. Beam at 650, good to see you. Good to see you guys. All right, and uh, let me do a time check here and I'll pick up one more. Okay, guys, I'm gonna pick up my crab traps. Hang in there. Let's do it. I'll put you over here. Ah, oh, here we go. Let me just put the mic over here for one minute. Uh, where are we? All right, here we go. This way, just hanging in, guys. All right. Nothing, nothing. Hold on. We tried. We tried. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this live stream. We're on for an hour and... I think an hour and 20 minutes or so. Let me see. Is there a time here? Hour and 23 minutes I was live. But you know what? It was great time hanging out with you guys. Beamer, thank you for coming in. Fuzzy Doxy, Luis Poppy, Florida Pete, retired Irish detective, Cheryl, Tweety USA News. Yeah, they're getting smarter. Eric Olson. Let me say goodbye to everybody. Um, who else did I miss? Time goes by so fast. He's, my son's just fixing that over there. Yeah, it was fun, Lauren. Lorna McKenzie, thank you for coming in. Lexi, of course, and the bull, of course. As you see, you know, I live stream a lot now. I've been doing it a lot because I have, you know, I want to do it for you guys, and I enjoy having a community here on YouTube. And uh, by the way, I have a website too. If you want to look at my website, there's a little icon there. Our good friend, Duty Ron, actually bought me that website as a gift, as a birthday gift two years ago. It is well maintained by our good friend Josh, the producer from the Duty Ron channel. Subscribe, anyone new, subscribe to Duty Ron. Don't not forget Duty Ron. If you're new and you don't know who he is, he's a live streamer. He's a podcaster, a very, an excellent podcaster, first grade detective at the NYPD. He does uh, great stuff. And uh, I wouldn't, you know, you know, do without him because uh, he's, he's, he's like a, he's a brother, really and uh, just a, a great human being, a humanitarian at that. All right, guys, I don't know if Duty Ron's going live tonight, but if he is, you will see me there, of course. I am his head moderator, I joke around, he goes, my head of security, it's all a joke, but I don't, I, I don't moderate people. What happens is that if people are disrespectful to people in the chat and disrespectful to him or to his guests, I will eliminate you, block you, I will annihilate you online. I'm a professional at that. But that's it. Good night from New York City. Ciao for now.